welcome back to Tina's Test Kitchen. Today is part two of our party appetizers. Let's go over the last two that we have. We are going to make some tomato bruschetta bread. That's gonna be super delicious. And then we have our salami pinwheels, something that's super easy. Let's get this party started. Okay, so here's our list of ingredients. We're going to need a loaf of sourdough bread. Normally we would use baguette bread, but unfortunately supply chain issues, they didn't have any, so I did choose the smaller loaf of bread. We're going to need five cloves of garlic, four of your Roma tomatoes. We'll be using some shredded Parmesan cheese, a quarter teaspoon of pepper, um, a quarter teaspoon of our sea salt, a half a teaspoon of our balsamic vinegar, two tablespoons of our olive oil, and then a quarter cup of our basil. Now for the salami pinwheels, we're going to be using some Genoa salami, some whipped cream cheese, as well as some banana pepper rings. Let's get started. Okay, so in our bowl we have our salt, our pepper, our balsamic vinegar, as well as our uh, minced garlic and the olive oil. So now we're going to go ahead and cut up our tomatoes and add the tomatoes to that. That's going to marinate for about 15 or 20 minutes and then we'll get the bread cut and we will get everything together. So the tomatoes, it does say that they do have to be cut in very small pieces. So I'm going to cut the Roma tomatoes in half and I'm going to take out the insides of the tomatoes. All right, so then you're just left with the actual shell of the tomato. Okay, so I'll set those aside. So you guys have made these before. These are actually really, really good. Um, it's very quick and easy. It only takes about 10 minutes in the oven at 400. So these are going to be delicious. All right, we'll go ahead and get the rest of these tomatoes cut up. Okay, so I do have the tomatoes all set. I've gone ahead and put some of them in our bowl. I'm just finishing up these tomatoes. So again, you guys, these are gonna be sliced very, very small. So we're gonna get these finished up and then we will move on to our bread. Okay, you guys, as you can see, I've gone ahead and cut up the bread pieces. These are about a half an inch of thickness. These are gonna go in the oven at 400 degrees for about five minutes. And then after that, I'm going to broil it for one to two minutes until the edges are golden brown. I'm going to put some garlic as well as some olive oil and spread that on the top as well as the bottom and they will be nice and crispy. Okay, so here we have our salami pinwheels that we're going to do. Again, you guys, this is just our Genoa salami. So with the salami, we're going to take it out of the package and pretty much just separate those. And we are going to just layer our salami. I'm gonna do them a little bit further apart than what they were in the package. These, you guys, are super good. Okay, we're gonna do about maybe 12 pieces and then we'll go ahead and add our cream cheese. We're gonna spread the cream cheese on and then we are gonna add our little banana peppers and then we're pretty much just gonna roll them up. Okay, so we've taken our salami and kind of laid it out and separated it a little bit, overlapping each piece. Now we're going to go ahead and add the whipped cream cheese to the top. Doesn't take a whole lot. Just going to kind of spread it all across the tops. Okay, just like that. And now we have our little banana peppers. Just going to sporadically put those across. These, you guys, are really, really good. Quick little easy snack. Okay, so let's get a few more on there. All right, so that should be good. So right now, all we need to do is just take our last two pieces and just roll them up. You guys, this is so easy and so good. All right, so now we have our, I don't know, I guess our log. Now we're just going to cut it into slices and I will show you what that looks like. All right, we're just gonna go ahead and slice each one. 
And then as you can see on the inside, you've got your salami, you've got your pepper, and you've got your cream cheese. Sometimes because of the thinness of the salami that I am using, the salami does fall apart a little bit, but it folds back over just perfectly. And then you're just going to continue until you're all finished. All right, and there we are, all set. Let's give it a taste. Mmm. Hmm. These are super good, guys. Okay, let's get the rest of these cut up. And there you are. All right, so I am going to go ahead and put my bruschetta in the oven, and we will give that one a taste. All right, everybody, we have our bread fresh out of the oven, so here we have that here. We did have one casualty that got a little too dark, so I didn't want to end up using that one. So let's go ahead and finish our bread. So we've got our bread here. Here is the tomatoes with the balsamic vinegar as well as the olive oil and the garlic. So we're gonna put some of that on the top. Okay, so we're good there. I'm gonna to top it with some cheese as well as some of our basil that we cut up earlier. All right, this, you guys, looks amazing. You've got all of the ingredients there. This is going to be delicious. Let's give it a try. Mmm. This, you guys, is so good. You can definitely taste the garlic again. That's gonna be one of my favorite parts of it. I love anything garlic. And this is definitely going to be a party favor for sure. And again, we would have used baguette bread, which would have given us a much, much smaller piece, more appetizer party size piece. But this, you guys, turned out amazing. This is so delicious. Okay, so let's get everything plated and all together. All right, you guys, so here we have our bruschetta bread that has the tomatoes with the balsamic vinegar, the garlic, the salt and pepper, as well as the olive oil. And then you have our little pinwheels that we made earlier. These, you guys, turned out to be really, really good. Definitely an option for a party. All right, so this is the end of part two. Have a great party, everyone. Until next time, thanks for visiting and please subscribe to my channel and I hope you have a great day.